Good morning, all, and welcome back to another game day vlog. It is 5.15 in the morning. It is a freezing cold morning here in Wangaratta, as it always is at 5 o'clock, as it probably is mostly around Australia at 5 o'clock in the morning. So, um, what is it? Four degrees. Congratulations. Great. We are off to the uh, river, Ovens River, to get ourselves a nice little dip in the cold, freezing cold. Freezing cold river. Uh, most people don't do this kind of stuff, but um, what's this, week four? Week five that I do this? Yesterday I had a beautiful day, went for a nice little swim in the morning. Obviously got my two workouts in because I am still on that 30 day challenge. Guys, if you want to join the 30 day challenge, make sure you jump on. Um, I'll put it up here, but I'll also put the link down in the description. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and join the 30 day challenge if you want to change the way that you live your life or any of our programs, preseason, AFL program, whatever it might be make sure you jump on and join it because it is a very, very exciting time to be alive. In the last month, I've completely transformed the person that I am, I've completely transformed my body as well. So it has been a, uh, a great process to be involved in and it only takes 30 days really to completely get rid of all of your bad habits and start a lot of good ones. So make sure you jump on that 30 day challenge. If you don't want to do the 30 day challenge, you just want to work out like an athlete, then make sure you check out the Elite Athlete Program, the Preseason Program, the AFL Program, any of those programs to get yourself the best results in this preseason and completely change your life. To get started on this vlog, I'm gonna go down and get into the freezing cold water. Let's do it, come on. Now why the bloody hell would I do this? You might think I'm absolutely crazy. Why would I go start my day off and get in the freezing cold ovens river? Because you gotta start off your day with something that you do not want to do. That is gonna set you up for the rest of the day, especially on a game day, because a lot of times on game days, we're gonna have to do things that we don't really wanna do. We're gonna have to go back with a flight. We're gonna have to go in a lot harder and lower than the opposition. So sometimes you're gonna have to do things that you don't wanna do and it's all in your head. If you can start off the day with something that is very, very difficult, then it is gonna set up the rest of your day. We've got the new hair as well. Got that done uh, up in Noosa during the week, which is fantastic. I think I'm gonna sneeze. No, I'm not gonna sneeze, that's okay. But we're gonna go jump in the river now, so I'll leave you to it, I don't wanna be late. Um, I might start off the day with 100 push-ups as well. Let's do it. It is that cold outside. This is not nice at all. They're probably running about five minutes late, so apologies, Bob Brody. But we have vlogging to do. I always stuff this door. All right. Also, I'm gonna make the vlog a little bit longer this week. The last two weeks have been just terrible. It's been like 10 minutes. I know you guys want to see more, so I'm gonna bring you a little bit more. As you can see, there is absolutely no one else here. Brody's here. And uh, this is where we go. <laughs> Look at the state of this. I haven't really shown this full on, so um, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. This is the state of it. What you know about this ting? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What you know about this ting? Not getting any warmer, baby. Not getting any warmer. Let's go. Oh, come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Woo Shit. Woo He's saying, God, doesn't get any easier. Actually, it does. It does get a little bit easier. Every week, it gets just 1% easier. 1%. It doesn't feel like that. You budgies? Don't be a bitch. Get in that water. That's what I'm talking about! Every fucking day! Every day! Every day I'm getting better. Every day I get better at this shit. Every day! Every fucking day! Dude, your body fucking temperatures. Your body fucking hits that thermal. We're smoking. Oh, yes, I'm smoking are. that Philly pack. I'm smoking that Philly pack, baby. I'm smoking that North Aubrey pack. I'm today. smoking that North Aubrey pack today. I'm worried I went a bit too far out. I lost my feet. Oh, I really?
Oof. <laughs> that was absolutely freezing. It is, um, yeah, a couple of degrees outside. It's actually gone colder. It's about three degrees now. My lips, they're actually not that purple, but I love that stuff, man. It's so good. The benefits of cold water immersion or ice bath in the morning is extremely, um, it's crazy. It's honestly crazy. Like, uh, the dopamine and the endorphins that it releases throughout the day. So like, okay, sorry, my, um, my camera ran out of battery. So what I was saying is the dopamine release, um, so dopamine is obviously a happy chemical. Um, it's kind of like what makes you feel good. So drugs like cocaine, MDMA, all of these drugs uh, have a dopamine release. So it might 50 times or uh, I think MDMA 100 times your dopamine release. I think cocaine is like 50 times. 50% uh, increase in your dopamine release, so it makes you feel happy, and that's why people get addicted to drugs because um, you know, it makes you feel good. Ice baths, cold water immersion, 250%, and the dopamine release lasts for longer. So usually with cocaine, cocaine, I think the dopamine release lasts for about uh, 30 minutes. For MDMA, it lasts about uh, about two hours. And then cold water and ice baths, it lasts five hours and it's 250% of a rise in your dopamine. So the benefits for this thing is just, it, it's incredible. It makes you feel amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, it, the benefits, not just dopamine, um, not just mentally, but, but physically as well. Um, it's, a, it's a fantastic, fantastic thing to do first thing in the morning, especially on a game day. So we're back at the room now and we're going through uh, setting some 30 day challenge emails out for everyone that joined the challenge. So that starts on Friday. So this video will be released obviously on a Monday. So that means you still have a couple of days to sign up. Uh, but we're pretty much at capacity now. I only really want 100 dedicated people that are, that are gonna be involved. So if you wanna join, feel free to do it. Um, but uh, yeah, we're running very, very close to capacity right now. So we send a few emails, get some work done. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. It's a beautiful day outside. Um, and yeah, then we'll go down and have some breakfast. So um, it was actually a little bit foggy this morning, but now the sun's out. It's a blue sky and um, no better conditions to play footy, baby. There he is, big Paddy Moo, all, all by himself in the spa. Mate, the weather that it was before, the weather that it is now is ridiculous. What a day, baby. It's game day. Let's go. How many for you today, Paddy? Done. <laughs> Zero. Knocked out in the first minute. <laughs> Here we go. Couple of buddies. <laughs> yep. Thank you very much. Cheers. <laughs> That's going to be one of the worst looking breakfasts I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe you ordered that, bro. You've got like everything on the menu. And you've ordered baked beans and toasted bacon. Oh, well, this is the first week I've noticed. But yours looks good, mate. Whatever you did on Wednesday with that. Who's got the better mark? Me. You. Me. <laughs> me. Me. You reckon? Yeah. Who's gonna win today? Subscribe to Prime Train. Subscribe to Prime Train. Yes, subscribe to Prime Train. Yes, yeah. subscribe. Number 16. Number 16? That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Uh, how much do you reckon we'll win by today? 50. 50? 50. 50. 60. 60. I'll go easy number. I'll go 35. 35, I like it. Whoever's closest, I'll give you guys a prize, all right? Deal? Right. It's on the video, so yeah. I can't, I can't lie. I can't lie. Yeah. Can you give us a t-shirt or something? Maybe, maybe. Oh, I'm trying to maybe. Like, Whoever's closest, I'll give you guys a t-shirt or some footy shorts. I got footy shorts as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Prime train footy shorts. So I might yeah, that was. Like, <laughs> all right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another game day vlog. Now, I'm very, very sorry I couldn't get the scoreboard up uh, for this game, but this game is extremely important because if we do win it, it means that we go into the finals. And if we lose, then we could be in a little bit of strife. And North Aubrey could take our final spot. If we win, we'll go from fifth to fourth. So it's a very tight finals rate. race. Um, I started off playing half forward, but then most of the game I would be playing through the midfield, kind of switching 
um, half forward and mid, which is good. Got a few uh, good handballs and kicks early on in the first quarter. It was just good to get my hands on the ball. And it's always um, so much easier when you are around the ball a little bit more. This is Darcy Wilson with a beautiful little kick here to me. He is a superstar already, and he's going to be an absolute superstar. We've got the potty coming up with him on Tuesday, so make sure you check that out. We got up early with a few um, nice goals, and then they probably hit back a little bit, and it felt like they were dropping a few back as well all the time. So especially when I was on in the midfield, I would try and work as hard as possible back to give us that plus one. So got a good um, intercept mark here which was um, elite, and then I don't know what the camera work is going. Again, we uh, my normal camera guy this week, um, unfortunately, has prior commitments, so he will be back next week. Logan from Cartwright Media, he's an absolute superstar as well, and he will be back um, He will be back next week to uh, to do the first, um, first game of finals. I think I've already just given away who wins this game. But anyway, um, so yeah, we started off pretty well which is good. We had a big Will Christie in the ruck, which definitely helped us. And again, another clearance here um, out to Elijah. Elijah goes inside 50, but it just wasn't quite the kicks, um, unfortunately. So um, goes out of bounds. But like I did say, they did have a lot of um, extras back. So making sure that I was working my way back and forth as much as I could. This was not a good kick. I tried to hit Joel with the inside 45. Terrible kick. Luckily, they didn't get anything out of it and we did get a stoppage. But... It was not a good kick, or they end up kicking it behind. That was, yeah, that was not good for me. Maybe better there, <laughs> but that's all right. It's good. You've got stuff to work on. Um, again, try to get a handball out here, and then caught holding the ball. So probably not my finest couple of minutes um, at the end of the uh, at the end of the first quarter. But I did end up finishing with seven touches in the first quarter, which was good because it just meant that I was getting my hands um, on the ball a little bit more, which um, which always helps. But Brody Farley gets a handball out here, and I thought that this could have been holding the ball. Maybe did dive on it, but not quite uh, going to work for us. And that's okay. You can't get them all. And then the next um, next clearance, get a good opportunity from Hebbers. Hebbers goes to me. I try to get it to Farley again. My probably disposal wasn't 100% great, but um, at least starting off by getting your hands on, on the ball, which is which is a good start. Again, could have gotten the handball out here and just end up slipping and sliding, tried to push it out to Shuddy and um, probably wasn't it and then end up getting a um, getting a stoppage out of that which was good um, again the ball's kind of just like sticking around here um, and end up getting another tackle so just being around the ball for me was, was always good we're probably up um, by about 15 points at this stage uh, halfway through the second and um, and again just playing in that midfield role all you got to do is just try and get your hands on onto the ball as much as possible and, Got a two metre kick out here, and geez, Fuddy just hits the ball pretty hard. Um, gets it forward again. Darcy Wilson, just a genuine superstar. Um, third quarter here, ball comes out. Gerrish and myself get a little, nice little handball to Gerrish. We're up by about 20 odd points, maybe a bit more 30 odd points. Um, almost 39 points, I believe, if my maths is correct. Um, at half time, Muzz gets the ball out to me here, and again, I'm just working with Darcy Wilson and um, and Garish as well out there. They're, they're absolute superstars. They just find their find their hands onto the footy, but I'm um, making sure that I'm working up and back very, very hard. Muzz goes out to me here, and then I get the kick forward. But again, the cameraman, I don't know what he is doing. Get an underground handball to Will Christie. Christie gives it back. Then I get the opportunity to go here and I just get tackled from behind. I thought it could have been, probably didn't really have prior for it, but that's all right. Anyway, we come out with just such a good mindset in this game. Like We were very attacking, um, pressure was high, and I think that we always felt like on paper we were the better team. And definitely I felt like I had a lot of unfinished business with this team. I was not happy that they... Um, they beat us last time, and this was obviously the game that I got injured in as well. So that did piss me off a little bit, and I made sure that uh, that, that didn't happen again. Garish here takes a bounce, takes a second bounce. He's, um, I mean, he doesn't take a second bounce, but he does get it forward. And lucky enough, I'm in the right spot at the right time and just got a good bit of body work off my opponent and get to go back for a set shot, just going through my normal routine here and not, not too much of a difficult shot. Usually, but um, but yeah, just going to go with my usual routine and snap around the corner. 
his um his normal. One. I probably leaned back on it a little bit, which wasn't good. But luckily, it went through for a goal anyway. So I'm um, very fortunate with that, and um and then that puts us up by yeah probably forty points. So we just we just get into the right spots and working hard here to pressure, which is so important. If you're playing that small forward role or medium forward, whatever f- kind of forward you're playing, you just have to play that pressure role. And I got um I got some knees, uh, sorry, some some boot marks into my um into my shin here, and it really really hurt me. So I was struggling. Last quarter, I was working really really hard in the last to um to continue to to get my hands on the ball and just just working super super hard, um, especially in the last quarter when everyone else is tired. Gareth didn't do a great handball to me. He tried to get it back to him, but not quite it. Um, as you can see, the score is 72-23, to 23, so we've pretty much walked away with this, and now it's just about work rate and, and staying in the game. Get the handball back here. Could have been Nolan and the ball, maybe. Nah, probably not. Just called a ball up. So it ended up laying five tackles, I think, in the end, which was um, which was good, but it's, uh, it's, it's also about how many pressure acts that you can get. And, um, and like I said, it was definitely unfinished business in this game. I was not happy. That, that these guys beat us last time. So I was making sure that I made every attempt possible, got a good hold in the ball here, and um, <laughs> lucky, lucky that Philo gave it to me, to be honest. <laughs> because I did get the hand in and ripped his hand out, and that was on the ball, and Philo kind of continued to tackle him. So it wouldn't have, wouldn't have probably better if Philo ended up getting it. But anyway, we kind of just possessed the ball here. Paddy goes back out to me. And, um, and I don't think there's any issues with just possessing it every now and then, playing a bit of tempo footy, because I don't think sometimes that we own the footy enough, and this is perfect. Like, this is exactly what you want to do. Just own the footy a little bit, um, take control of it. And, uh, and that is, uh, that's the way to definitely frustrate defences. And it'll be interesting what tactics we go into um, in with next week. But, uh, but we'll see. Toby gets a good tap down to me and just just with the space, um, get my hands up and, and get a kick away, which which was good. Um, and then Dill Wilson goes inside 50 and tries to we're trying to get a free kick, but nothing doing. Uh, Toby goes inside to Kaiser here, Kaiser handball back, and just I knew where the space was and where Dill Wilson was and got the handball out to him, and he just dashes away with super speed and goes bang with a fantastic snag. So he actually ends up kicking three in a row here in the last, which is... Um, which is definitely a good way to, to open your account in the last quarter. Toby goes up for a, for a tap here. The ball kind of just like hits the deck and um, just ended up wanting it a little bit more than, than the opposition player, and so did our, which was good. Darcy Wilson just somehow finds a lot of time to, um, to possess and, and dispose of the ball. I was getting a lot of stick from the crowd just here, so I made it my absolute uh, goal to win this ball. And uh, got it, tried to handball it back to Paddy Mack, but didn't quite get it back to him. Then this bloke's done about a two-metre kick. I don't know how the bloke, yeah, he's, uh, he's gotten away with that. And then this, I don't know how that's not a free kick. How is that not a free kick? And then they end up kicking the goal. I don't know how that wasn't a free kick. But, you know, Darius Wills gets um, <laughs> held without it here. We play on, and Dill Wilson picks it up and goes bang for another snag, which is very, very nice. Uh, finish it off. Muzz gets a kick out um, to me and then I think I've got Dars Wilson here who tried a handball too but didn't should have should have given it away ended up getting it back to Brody gets a flick over and flick over Mars. and that's pretty much a wrap ladies and gentlemen we end up winning uh, the game 98 to 39 I left all my stuff in here <laughs> I'm legit that's dumb well, I'll give you the phone I'll bring it
Who's the cover girl today? What's up? <laughs> and that's the goat physio. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Illy, start. Oh, jeez. <laughs> See you, boys. Have a good one. All right, this is the guy at the moment. The ankle completely and utterly fucked. Blisters, blisters, blisters. Blisters, blisters. Knees absolutely cooked as well from landing on the. It's already swollen as and sore as. So, not good. But we'll live. We will live. After the game, we're on our way back home to Melbourne. We had to stop at the APCO, Wangaratta. And this is the feed off that they come up with. A little bit of pork, gravy, all over everything. We've got corn, pea, carrot, potatoes, pumpkin. Oh my God, yeah. And Paddy just got a battered salve. <laughs> Wait. Oh, we just got back home. Look at the size of my knee. I don't know if you can see that, but that is what my knee looks like right now. It is so fat. Anyway, um, that. look at that. It just doesn't look not good. <laughs> that is not good. That's right. Are we fine? So yeah, we struggled through that. Now I'm gonna take these off and show you the blisters. This is gross. This is shit content, I apologize, but I'm gonna show you what I what I have been playing with the last couple of weeks. Okay, I know this is a bit gross, but whatever, I'm gonna show you the blisters on my feet. These hurt so much. And yes, it might be gross, so skip through this part of the vlog if you don't watch it, but it hurts so much, so I have to show you. So on my left foot, um, this one which isn't too bad. But then this one here is not good at all. That is extremely painful, that second one. So that hurts. And then this was the one that I got, ended up getting today. Again, just a big fat blister. Not it at all. It hurts so much more than you think. Um, definitely not good. So yeah, we keep going. We keep grinding. All right, guys. Sorry, I got my retainers in. Uh, that's a wrap. It's uh, 9.30. I'm going to head off to bed. I am so tired and so ready to get some sleep. So, God, I sound like an idiot with these in. 
Thank you so much for watching this, another vlog. Um, I appreciate everything. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, get commenting and final start next week. So let's get it going. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for watching.